Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be taking you on a tour with me around the universe that we live in. So come on, let's go. We start our tour, of course, on planet Earth, our home planet, and home to almost 8 billion people. We share our home with as many as 9 million different species, and yet, as far as we know, this is the only place in the universe where life exists. But maybe that's because we haven't looked very far. The furthest that humans have traveled so far is to the moon, 384,000 kilometers away. If you were driving at the national speed limit of 70 miles per hour, it would take you 140 days just to get there. But thankfully, the universal speed limit is the speed of light, so we can get there a little bit quicker. Still, it's a free day trip. I've always thought that the name the moon is kind of strange because a moon is a natural satellite orbiting any planet. So it's not exclusive to planet Earth. As you know, in our solar system, we have seven additional planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, discounting Pluto because he's no longer a planet. But in my mind, Jupiter should be demoted too. Check out my video on why if you haven't yet. Of these, only Venus and Mercury don't have moons. The inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are rocky planets. They're made up of silicate rocks and metals, whereas the outer planets are gas giants and mostly big balls of hydrogen and helium gas. Much like the gas giant planets, our sun is mostly hydrogen and helium. In fact, it's burning through 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium every second, just to keep the light of the solar system on. Together with our planets, they make up our solar system, the edge of which is believed to be marked by the Oort cloud, a huge spherical shell encompassing our solar system, 100,000 times further than the distance to the Sun. Much like the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter is polluted by asteroids, the Oort cloud is abundant in comets. But it would be wrong to think our solar system is special. Our solar system is but one of the estimated 100,000 million stellar systems in our galaxy, the Milky Way, each one with their own star at the center and possibly as many planets. Despite the huge number, the next nearest star, Alpha Centauri A, where the letter A is because it's one of a triple star system, is over four light years away. That means traveling at the fastest speed possible, it would still take us four years to get there. The stars of the galaxy, just like those in the estimated 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe, orbit around each other. They're gravitationally bound, and at the center of each galaxy lives a supermassive black hole, an object with so much mass packed into a tiny volume, and hence gravitational pull, that not even light could escape its grasp. Well, technically, that's the definition of any old black hole, which, by the way, millions, if not billions, exist in our galaxy alone. What makes the supermassive black hole special is that it can be millions or even billions of times more massive than our sun. If you thought our nearest star was far away, our nearest galaxy Andromeda is even further away. Despite its huge size on the sky, if it was bright enough to see with the naked eye, you'd know that it's six times larger than the moon as seen on Earth. But that's where it's deceiving because Andromeda is actually 2.5 million light years away. It would take 2.5 million years to get there, traveling at the speed of light. Just like how the stars in the galaxies are gravitationally bound, it turns out that Andromeda is gravitationally bound to the Milky Way too, along with several other galaxies. They together make up the local group. The true number of galaxies in this agglomeration is currently unknown, but it's at least 80, all within a diameter of about 10 million light years across. The local group, as well as almost a hundred other groups and clusters of galaxies, like the Virgo Cluster, make up the Virgo Supercluster, a megastructure over a hundred million light years across. And for a long time, it was believed this was the largest structure that could grow. But in 2014, astronomers found it was not. 
the Virgo supercluster is just a fraction of Lanier Kea, an even larger supercluster, 520 million light years across. Our Earth lies on the very edge of Lanier Kea, and all of this is embedded in the cosmic web that ties our universe together. Since the speed of light is known to be finite and the age of the universe is known to be 13.7 billion years old, it wouldn't be silly to believe that the size of the observable universe is 27 billion light years across. But because the universe has been expanding and still is expanding, the actual size of the observable universe is 46 billion light years in every direction. In other words, our universe is huge. And that concludes our tour of the universe. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed your time here, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.